Hi, my name is Dan Wood. I'm an ALM consultant with Northwest Cadence. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Git integration with Visual Studio and Team Foundation Server 2013. Uh, Git integration was introduced with TFS 2012 and Visual Studio 2012, uh, but the integration is much more tight now uh, and the interface is just very, very sexy when, as far as the, the, the integration with Git goes. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So in Team Explorer and on my connect page by just clicking on the little plug thing there, uh, we get our information about any repositories that we have. I see I have a, a couple of repositories, local repositories that are already set. Um, I have the ability to create new ones, add existing ones. I can clone uh, my repository uh, from, a, from a remote repository to local so I can start working with the code there. Uh, I've already done that to one to a Git project that's actually hosted with the TFS service. Um, TF, the Git support is also supported with on-premise TFS uh, with, a, with TFS 2013. Uh, that particular capability has been available since January with the TFS service, uh, but it looks exactly the same. So we'll just use the, the service for this demo. Uh, if I go ahead and I open up the Git project, see that we have our branches, work items, settings, changes, um, and it shows us what kind of solutions that we have that are in that particular uh, repository. So, and this repository we're looking at here is actually a local repository. Uh, and so, uh, when I'm looking at the, <clears throat> the information here, that's all stored locally. I'm not going and, and contacting the server and, and doing a checkout or anything. It's all being done completely local. Uh, I don't have to actually communicate with the server at all, even though I've connected to the TFS service for uh, work item tracking and for being able to synchronize my code uh, with TFS service if I so desire. So I'm coming here and I'm going to open up a, a controller file and do something really silly like just uh, add a random comment. And you notice that as soon as I do that, um, we we get the little checkout, right? So we've actually done something. So we got the little red check mark there. We've added the comments. Uh, so I'll go ahead and I'm going to save that. And after we save it, we'll go back to Team Explorer. And then we can go ahead and, and open up the changes page. And we see that we have indeed, uh, we have modifications here to the home controller, uh, they're included. And so to go ahead and commit those again to my local repository, uh, I'm just gonna add it a uh, random comments, get my best practice, make sure I have some kind of code comment. And the other thing I can do is I can add work items as well. So I can associate this particular commit with a work item that's in my project. I go ahead and hit that. It's going to look it up and see that, yep, there's a update the web app task that's been assigned to me. Uh, so we go ahead and we associate that and we commit it to the local repository. We go back into our home and now obviously it's not going to be in the changes anymore, but it is in the commits. So it's an outgoing commit we have. Where we can push this to the, the TFS service. Um, or we can, you know, we can go and you can pull, see if there's anything out there that there are no incoming. Uh, and then very, very cool here is with our, we can just synchronize. And so it will essentially get going to do a get latest um, and to our local repository. And if we, the changes that we've made by adding those comments had generated any kind of a conflict, we'd immediately we'd raise that conflict. We'd be able to see that. Uh, and then if not, after it pulls it, it's going to go ahead and push it back. And then it pushes it back to uh, the TFS service. And we can go ahead and take a look at that by pulling up our web access. So we open up our web access and here we can see that just a couple minutes ago, that uh, time passes, uh, that we did a go ahead, we did indeed uh, add some random comments. We can go in there and we bring it in. Uh, one associated work item was task 1390 updated. Uh, we see that we add random comment. Uh, it gives us a little preview of the code. So completely seamless. It's all just Git, uh, but it's integrated with the Team Foundation server uh, so that we can get all that kind of power, but still get the flexibility of a distributed version control system of Git. So it's really a marriage of the best of two worlds and some pretty exciting changes. So uh, thank you very much and uh, check out the rest of our videos and look for more uh, content that's coming your way.